Good morning, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I'm your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. Now, normally you'd see an intro from Neural Toyota and you hear our awesome theme song, but we're still trying to get that footage on the new computer, so we just want to give a big shout-out to Neural Toyota. We appreciate your ongoing support. Whoop, whoop, whoop. As everybody at home knows, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So, sir, can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Uh, my name is Jerry Neville. This is my th- Third time on the Max City Morning Show, so I don't want to get really into like detail details, but uh, man about town, king of Kensington. That's how I call Keith McGrath, too, is the king of Kensington, so I'm kind of like that kind of character. Uh, anything that's involved with sports, uh, community events, that's what I do in town, and a lot of it I'm doing announcing. There we so, go. There go. Busy dude. Thanks for coming back. You always have the coolest glasses, so I figured I need to put on some cool glasses today to match your vibe. Well, you know what? I, I, I used to go crazy. So it was at one point I had 35 pair of glasses, I, yeah. and uh, Melissa Blake was the mayor at that time, and she actually uh, went to a community event and brought me. I was at the radio station uh uh, a thing to put my glasses in so she bought like so it was like oh, all sections so cool. i could hang it on the wall put all my glasses in it was really really cool um and then i got her onto the zenny optical stuff which was what i was wearing at the time mm-hmm. um but i went to a local guy here in town yeah and i'm like nope no nope. i order all my stuff online he's like well just try some stuff on i'm like look man the last time i had anything on my face other than than zenny's were some gucci's and he's like oh you want to try some gucci's and i'm like yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to buy them, and yeah. I'm wearing Gucci's. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how it works. Yeah. what goes on, so. Glasses are a problem. Uh, they are addictive. Yeah. yeah. They 100% are. And they're not cheap. Um, well, if you order them online, uh, yeah. yeah, but if you want to get, like, I've worn these ones every day now for two years, um, and they're, like, super durable. Yeah. Like, they're great. Um, I would go through so many different pair with Zenny. Yeah. Um, and it's just so nice to have like them done professionally. But I don't want to talk about my glasses. I got okay. so much more to talk about. Man. Yeah, Let's you're here to talk about, about sports. You have what? Three, four? What kind? How, you got major sporting events on the go at all the time. So I've got four teams right now. Well, three, three teams that we're working for. And we are so blessed in Fort McMurray. Um, uh, mm-hmm. Right now, we just signed on with the Keanu Huskies for this year. So we're doing soccer, basketball, and volleyball wow. with uh, the Keanu Huskies. Um my very first uh, contract I signed in Fort McMurray, we we're still with them, the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. Uh, we we're heading into our 12th season with them. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, and we also have the Fort McMurray Giants baseball team. So uh, the three major sporting teams in town we have. Uh, but it also means that we work a lot with Fort McMurray minor hockey because we work with the oil barons so the kids want the oil barons announcer the oil barons sounds and and when we're at center fireplace we give them the oil barons light show and all that good stuff to go with it Mm -hmm. Uh, the same as this year we did a lot of minor baseball games because the kids want the oil giant or want the giants announcer to come in so we go in with all the sound effects and all the stuff that we play at the giants game for the minor baseball as well and i know that as soon as we get into Uh, doing volleyball and basketball at Keanu, that we are going to start getting calls. We already work with Father Mercury uh, doing their mentorship there. So we're working with live announcers playing music and stuff there. So there's so much that's going on with sports uh, here in town all the time, all the time. And then uh, just the other day, I was talking to the folks from the Wood Buffalo Sport Connection, which is the Wood Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame, which they do a big... uh, production with which we were part of last year so they're like hey we're going to have you back again this year and we're just like so excited so that's cool it's cool that we get to do so much sports in town Mm -hmm. now there's another sport that myself and tanner saw you at you were wearing a different kind of outfit than what you're wearing currently Uh, well not far off what i'm wearing right now because if you if you look closely i don't know no i I love love the cat shirt shirt. yeah okay this is not just a cat that is steve french kitty Nice. Uh, he is my kitty, um, and he's the kitty of the kitties. Um, is, is that really your cat? That is really my cat. You no, got a shirt a made with your cat with, on the with shirt. my cat. This is my cat. I actually have a shirt Wild. with my last dog on it as well. Not my current dog. I'm hoping to have a shirt with my current dog on it very soon. Um, but I also have a shirt with me on it. 
uh, which I debated wearing, but I recently just dropped 40 pounds and my face is really round and it starts to slim out. So I'm like, nah, I'm going to wear the cat shirt today. That's we'll, awesome. we'll show off the kitty. So we do that. But I also have socks with like today I'm wearing uh, today's the Archie's. Okay. So I, I have I have seventy five different pair of socks. Yeah. Which are as like glasses addicting as heck. Right. Um. So I wear a different <laughs> pair of socks every day to go with the, whatever I'm feeling. So. That's awesome. Yeah. So when you wear that shirt around your cat, does it like mess the cat up a little bit? No, like, no. is there a war with the shirt and the no, cat? No, no, no. This is just it's kind of to honor Steve French, Kitty, and and uh, Steve French has been so good. I and again, you're so good at sidetracking me, Elliot. I'm here to talk I, about sports, and I'm talking about my darn cat. But Steve <laughs> French, Kitty, is so good yeah. uh, with my new dog, uh, uh, Graceland, uh, yeah. Gracie Grace. Uh, yeah. She's the queen of the dog park. Yeah. Um, she, uh, but because she's just uh, she's she's young. Yeah. And now Steve French Kitty is getting older, so now the the dog nudges the cat to play. And yeah. It's like, Aww. so but it's you know, but if she was young, if yeah. if, if Steve French Kitty was young, then yeah. he would be beating the dog around. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'll get you back on track. We're talking about jackets. You were wearing a silver one, like the Michael yes. Jackson glove. Yes. And I was announcing, and I love this, uh, uh, Monster Pro Wrestling uh, that is uh, happening that happened at Keanu. As soon as I saw them, yeah. I was like, I need to get in on this. So yeah. I, I got to give you a bit of a backstory. I told you before I was into wrestling. Yeah. My cousin married into a wrestling family. So if you go out cool. east, um, there's a wrestler, uh, J.P. Sims. And all the big names, uh, when they're finished doing their big WWE tour, they do all the small shows. He's the dude they call to beat up. Okay. So and even the WWE, when they go to town... And you see, like the like the stuff that you don't see on TV. They they call the dark matches, like mm. before the show starts. He gets to be a part of that. So the guy that's yelling at them, throwing the beer at yeah. them, and Buddy calls him up, and then he goes in the ring and he beats him up. That, that's JP. Cool, right? So he does that. So uh, we actually flew home for my cousin's wedding. Like I don't go to a whole lot of weddings, yeah. but my cousin, like she called me called me geek when I was growing up because she couldn't say Jerry. She was like, Gary. And I was yeah. like, no, it's she, geek. And I was like, oh, God, okay, so now I'm the geek. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so we had to go back for that. But literally their wedding cake was a wrestling ring on the top. Cool. I thought, I when I saw that, I thought someone was getting slammed through it or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it didn't happen, which was too bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I love wrestling. I've worked with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I've worked with Al Snow, who's on the new uh, – uh, a show on Netflix, which is really cool to be able to see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've done a, a, a Ted DiBiase, Virgil. Just I've worked with a ton of those guys. So as soon as I saw this, I'm in. Yeah, I've actually been in the ring. I've been. You were awesome. Up. Like so, I got to do that and do the ring announcing. Yeah, and they didn't know who I was. So they're just coming into town. Some dude phones them up. Could have been anybody. Hey, I would love to do your ring announcing, man. I'll do it for free. And here's my website. And I'm really professional. I swear to God. And they're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Chill out, buddy. Like, here, yeah. what's going on? And then so the first time they actually see me in real life, yeah, um, I show up with the glasses that I had on, the big silver sparkly jacket oh and stuff. Oh, my God. So they're like, oh, God, is this guy for real? Like, yeah, does yeah, he yeah, live yeah, this yeah. part? Is he like, yeah. who's the weirdo of Fort McMurray we've just brought in That's to do right. this? Is this a bit? Yeah, yeah. this is. So it all worked out. It was so, so fun. <laughs> no um, doubt. Um, and then the very first call I made as soon as I got it, uh, I saw this wrestling thing was C.J. Phillips. Yeah. And CJ enlisted Shaw right away because back in the day, CJ was the man in town with ABC TV. He yeah, did, he was. He, he did all the stuff. And one of the things that he would do is he used to bring up Stampede Wrestling. Yeah. Before Bret Hart and Owen Hart and those guys were any names, he would bring them up here. Yeah. And they were wrestling in Fort McMurray. So I'm like, CJ, you got to get in on this, buddy. There's got to be a way to make this happen. And then he got Matt uh, Lorenz from uh, Shaw to get involved. And they're, I don't know how they're showing it. I've yet to see it on yeah. TV, but I, I can't wait to see I'll that finally done up. Oh, yeah. That, yeah we reached out to them. We want to help out, too, because it was cool. And we want to get uh, we got Pete. Oh, yeah. Or, like, he, he, dude, Pete loves wrestling. Oh, he's oh, we're, obsessed. And we're so, trying to get him to do, like, live announcing. Like, at the wrestling. Oh, and, and so, and, and yeah. you and I had talked about that. Yeah. So that's going to be one of the things that I, I'm going to yeah. offer to them next uh, next time they're up. Because yeah. I believe they're coming back in January. So yeah. there's no release date on it yet. But yeah. uh, 
We've You're never made. seen you more comfortable, man. Like me and Tanner were chatting about it. Like you were made to be that role up there. Like you were so comfortable and natural and just crushing it. Well, there was the one thing I did learn because I've done a lot of things with wrestling and 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 yeah. Like I said, I've been beat up. I've I've, I've come out of the. You really get hurt in a wrestling ring. I'll tell mm -hmm. you. Um, including and this is the funny story. The first time I went to get in a wrestling ring, I thought it was bungee cords. Um, they're not bungee cords. Those are steel cables with some covers on them. Yeah. And I lifted it up like I was going to crawl under it, and I snapped it back and hit oh. me right in the face. And my glasses went flying off. So, yeah, I've done that. I've, I had a guy walk on top of me. I got beat up in the ring. Um, I'd taken a couple blows to the head. The reason my knee is messed up is yeah. a rest, it's a wrestling injury. That's um, awesome. Which is kind of, it's kind of a cool story to That's tell. Right. So, but, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... That maybe I can help them decide some yeah. matches and stuff. Like I'm really oh. hoping that I, I yeah. can get involved in this. So we'll see yeah. what happens we'll see what on happens. this next one here, man. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, well listen, Tanner hit his phone a while ago. That means he's got his question ready for the Max City Minute. But before we get into that, we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Carrie, thank you for your ongoing support, gentlemen. If you're out there and you want a lovely beard looking like mine, that's where I get my product from. So Carrie, thank you, Tanner. In with the Max City Minute. Alrighty, question number one for you today. What do you think is the best radio jam? The best radio jam? Something that I turn up every time? Hmm. I would have to say something by Pitbull. Because I don't think Pitbull has ever released a song that has not been like... Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. I actually worked with a guy named Bitbull once. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> we used to call him Pitbull. Yeah. So we'd say, hey, we're going to go for a meeting with Bitbull. Dun, 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 do, do. Uh, do that. Oh, that's um, hilarious. But if you throw on some Ramstein, yeah. uh, just, I'm sorry, I'm going to demolish your speakers with that. Nice. Oh. Question, Question number two. two. What do you think is the best meal you've had in Fort McMurray? Ooh, okay. So this is really hard, and I'm going to preface this by saying. This would be damn near impossible. Saying, well, I actually get to do every year, and I've done it for the past four years, uh, my good friend Mike Jones, um, who is the king of Fort McMurray. Um, there's not a doubt about that. Like, Hands I, down. Yeah, like, seriously. Nope. Um, I get to do the Food Fest videos with him. So we get to go to every restaurant that signs up for Food Fest, and they give us. So when they bring it out, like we're videoing it, so it looks exactly how it's supposed to look, and yeah. it's right. Like they make it fresh for us, so we can see yeah. the steam come off and stuff. Yeah. It's very hard, but I would have to say, if you are in Fort McMurray and you are looking for something to eat, the uh, Smoking Butcher, they have the brisket uh, pulled pork potato skins. And I will tell you, uh, when I go there, I get two appetizers. I get the bacon-wrapped uh, jalapeno meatballs with the mozzarella inside. Yeah. And you get the bread with that. And I get the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the brisket pulled pork uh, potato skins. Yeah. That. And I always end up taking a couple meatballs home because all of those potato skins, gone. It's like heaven. Okay. Oh, and I love it when Jeremy comes to the table and talks to me, too. There you go. Question, Question number three. three. It's going to be much easier than I'm making it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm loving these answers. Yeah, man. Question, Question number three. If you could have one toy or game from your childhood to play with again, what would you pick? Ooh, that's – whenever I think of my childhood, I don't – it's not my favorite toy because I think my favorite toy of all time is Lego and I because I still play with Lego to this day. Right. Um, but when I think back – to my childhood, and I, I think about unwrapping a present and looking at it, it was my Steve Austin $6 million man that you could look through the eye, and I go, do, 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 And in his arm, you could roll the skin up, and they had the bionic thing inside his arm. It was like G.I. Joe on steroids. So there was one in here, and there was one up here, and then uh, you just pretend that he ran, ran fast. But I also had the, uh, the rocket ship, I would open up, oh. and I also had the lab, so that that's really cool. But I grew up in in Germany, so it was different. You guys had a different system here. We had uh, Meccano, and you guys had there was something else you could screw together, okay, uh, to make it happen. And there was a, 
I watched the toys that built America. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah. it's all it's great all, series. Seri- yeah. it's, and there was a really a battle about that. Yeah, and I'm like, no, that's the one that I had growing up because I because <laughs> I grew up in Europe. I'm like, I don't know what this American guy's talking about. Yeah. Uh, build stuff yeah but lego like if you, I, I would have to say ultimately because i still play with it lego there we go sorry i'm so sorry man like these should be like fast answers no, no. We, we are loving these that's answers. right this is what it's about right. question, question number four if you could domesticate one animal to keep as a pet what would you choose <laughs> all right so again freaking <laughs> stories like are you doing research before we start this thing no of, i make them up as we <laughs> a film okay all right so this is so weird. One of the things that <laughs> yeah. Jennifer wants to have as a pet because growing Jennifer grew up in a place called White Rock. Okay? And this is like there's Wolfville where Acadia University is yeah. and then there's like Gaspro and then like another little space where people live and then White Rock. It's right. like it's out there. Right. So Jennifer her mom and dad like her dad wouldn't let her have a dog or a cat. And her mom used to feed these freaking raccoons. And there were <laughs> raccoons everywhere. So every night they'd go out, there'd be like a whole thing of raccoons. And oh they would feed you like, oh, raccoons are awesome. I'm like, raccoons are large rats with hands. That's what raccoons are. So if there's, how about if there's any animal that I don't want to domesticate? Yeah. Raccoons. They are rats <laughs> with hands. And my wife is watching going, no. <laughs> and I want a raccoon. But no, no, there's no raccoons. The, o- the only good raccoons are the ones that Cyril Sneer tries to agitate all the time oh, my on TV. God. Well, there, there you go. Yeah. And your final question. Oh, this was the last one. I almost feel disappointed here. Okay. Uh, that was the most random, awesome answer I've ever heard in my life. Where did you even come up with that question? I, I don't know. Like, yeah. Jeez. Okay. okay. All right. Go number five. Your final question. If you had your own wrestling persona, who would you be? Oh, that would be hard because I know that once I got into it, I would want to be a Mick Foley type kind of guy Yeah, because I'm really an all or nothing kind of guy. And I know that I am never going to be that pumped up dude. Like there was a guy at that wrestling show who's in the Canadian Wrestling Hall of Fame. And yeah. He he was he had to be forty five fifty and he was still cut like a like a like he was spry twenty year old and the way he moved and stuff that is never yeah. gonna be me yeah but teach me to go through a table yeah teach me how to take a chair yeah you know like literally when we did uh, our uh, thing uh, in uh, in Nova Scotia where I got beat up uh, I got hit by a microphone yeah and I was the one that said so, so do I do I get cut. Yeah, and they're like, no, yeah. like, this is like, no, you don't need to get. I'm like, Are you sure, man. Like, I'll, I'll get cut. I, I, yeah, right. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, you don't need to get cut with the microphone, man. So, and even with this one here uh, coming up, uh, we're we're talking about ways to work me into the show. Yeah, and I'm already past, you know, just a smack to the head or something like that. I'm like, no, like I want you to hit me with a chair. Like I That's want you right. to, like I want. So I know that if I was going to do this, I'd be the dude that you're throwing down on the tax. That would be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. would you have a name? Uh, would I have a name? What would the name be? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think Mick Foley took the best with Dude Love. Like, uh, it's like that's right up there. Do um, you know I, Dude Love and Mankind are the same thing? They're a synonym? Uh, no. No, I never even thought of that. And I'm, I watch a ton of documentaries in the WWE, yeah. and I never even did that. <laughs> the look on your face when that hit, you're like, what? <laughs> what? Is that real for Dude Love, Mankind? Is it? Is it? Dude, man. Love kind. Oh, oh, okay. I was trying to scramble the letters, yeah. and I'm like, no, man. There's an M in there, and it's no, okay. Yeah. So yeah, okay. There, there you go. Okay. So I, I'm getting it now. So I, I thought it was the letters. I'm like, how did I miss that? I'm giving you five questions. There we go. And okay. I, we, what are we for time right now? Oh, probably 35 minutes. 18. 18? Nice. What? Okay. Congratulations. Okay, hold Jerry. on, hold on. I if gotta I was do a betting quick. man. For I McMurray d- Giants. Uh, th- no, 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 thank you so you, much for you, you, No, 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 no. We're not done. Oh, okay. And we'll get you'll get your shout out. Oh, okay. But <laughs> you successfully said you wanted to come and talk about some certain things. Yes. And we checked those things off. So congratulations. We, we definitely did. Okay, so yeah. we're done. So no, no, no. Now we can get down to randomness. Which, oh, okay. Based on Tanner's questions, like, 
Where did you come up with that fourth question? That was wild. He was talking, talking about, about his cat and his dog. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to ask a question about his cat and his dog. That's right. I was right. like, oh, I wonder if he likes other animals. Yeah. So, well, and, so and we found out what animals he doesn't like. Yeah, fact. <laughs> well, here's something really cool is I shot, and this would be in the late 90s, Yeah. Uh, for Bragg Communications. Uh, they, we were doing a kid's show. So it was uh, like a Sesame Street kind of thing, but yeah, yeah. produced locally. Yeah. And I had a segment called Jerry's Jungle. So friends of mine own Oaklawn Farm Zoo in Aylesford, Nova Scotia. Yeah. So we went in all the cages. So I've fed lemurs sitting on my shoulder yeah. in a cage. I've had uh, gibbon monkeys take the hat off my head and use it as a frisbee and throw it all around. Yeah. Um, I had, let me tell you, when a jaguar scratches you, yeah. it's for real. Even if they're just trying to hold on as a baby jaguar. I had a baby jaguar scratch me down here, like <sighs> no, straight through. You. Um, and not, not like reach out, but yeah. I was just holding them and they yeah. we were both shifting right. and it's when, yeah. whoosh, um, I've played with, uh, uh, lions, mm -hmm. like just like, you know how sometimes you play with a wow, dog bro. and you go in and you beat the dog in the head and it's like, oh, you wrestle with the dog. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. I, so I, I've I've done that with lions. Yeah, uh, which is really really cool. So like I've I've had like I've had my chance to go in with some. Oh, and the one thing I'll tell you is stay away from pygmy goats because pygmy goats like to jump up on you. Uh. And it was one of the funniest outtakes of my life in TV. I'm doing the hey, welcome to Jerry's Jungle, and today we're doing pygmy goats. Just as a pygmy goat comes up and nails me right between the legs, oh. and boom. Oh. I doubled over in pain. Do you still have that outtake? Um, I am sure <laughs> somewhere at the old TV station I'm at, um, because the, there was uh, three outtakes from that. I, I got pecked by an ostrich. I'm doing. Hey, guess what? The fastest bird in the world is, and I just feel this bang on the back of my <laughs> back of my shoulder, bang, and I'm like, who's screwing with me? And I turn around like this, and there's an ostrich. He's like. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, and uh, I was doing, I was doing the camel uh, intro, and I had to stop because the camel uh, decided it was time to make love to the water trough behind me. So yeah. we had to stop. It's, we had, it couldn't do the intro. That's then, so. awesome. Oh yeah. So like, like lots of animals, but yeah, I definitely don't want any raccoons. Yeah. Rats with hands. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, you're like one of my favorite guests. Like, you got to come and hang out more often. This is I'm having yeah. fun. This is really yeah. cool. I, Somebody I'm that like we need to shout out, out though, because we talked about him already. Like, let's shout out Mike Jones for a second. Oh my God, man! Seriously, like, I remember. I, I'm going to tell people the story of the very first day that I met Mike Jones, man, because he to say that he was green coming out of broadcast school, man. Like Mike Jones, when I met him, this would be. God, now eight, nine years ago, he's been yeah. in Fort McMurray. Yeah. Um. He he was fresh at a school full of P and V, man. He yeah. just well, he was taking on the world. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, right on. Finally, someone that matches my energy. Like, yeah. let's go. Um. It wasn't match. He surpassed any kind of energy that I had. Um. But I walk into the studio, man, and I'll never forget. Uh, the VU meters were just pinned <laughs> down yeah. to the end, and I'm just like, oh my God. And I I. As, as the senior guy, yeah. like you don't want to walk into the junior dude and start screwing with his stuff, telling him, no, you don't do this, you don't do that. Because yeah. they've got their own style. they gotta, they got to develop. But there's some tech stuff that was like, poof. So I just reached over to his board. I'm like, sorry, I'm doing this, man. And I just pulled, excuse me, pulled the levels down. Yeah. He's like, oh, they, they, you just don't jam them up? I'm like, no, man, just don't jam them up here. Like, this is, yeah. you watch your levels. It's, you, you, this is professional radio. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, this is what we got to do. Um, but I remember taking Mike Jones backstage. Uh, it was for Brett Kissel. Mm. Um, I brought on the opening band. Mm -hmm. And then I said, what I just did is how you bring on a band. Like, mm. the bands don't want you to go on and do, so here we go. This guy has won this award, this award, this award. He's played this show and that show, and he's been at Nashville. They don't care. Yeah. And the people in the audience are just like, shut up. Yeah. I want to see the dude you're talking about. Yeah. So I brought the first band out, and it's and I do the hey, what's going on? You guys ready to party? Woo! Yeah. I'm Jerry Neville. You ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Here comes Bill Smith, right? Yeah. And Bill Smith comes out. So that's what he did, and he got that crowd rocking, man. And yeah. I'll tell you, when Mike Jones came off that stage, his eyes were as big as plates, yeah. and you can see it, it's like, oh, you could tell that's his home. Yeah. That was that's where Mike Jones belongs. Mike Jones was great on the radio. Mike Jones is. 50 times better in the community than he is on any radio show. He's not He's addicted. amazing. He does not get enough. Like and he gets lots, but Oh yeah. He deserves all the respect in the world. We've gone to a bunch of his events. 
he changes like you forget you're in Fort McMurray when you go to his events. It's he, like, you really do like that rock the rails that yeah. he does. Um, they're up for a creative collaboration this year with the Arts Council for their awards. Yeah, um, that thing should be winning not just Arts Council awards here locally. Yeah, should be winning. Uh, Alberta Arts Awards for the province mm -hmm. um, for the way that he does wh what he does with that mm -hmm. is what I try to do with sports so yeah he takes skateboarding and arts and mixes them together yeah what we like to do is we like to take sports like hockey baseball volleyball basketball yeah mix it with arts yeah. which is your lights your scripting your all that's that right. good stuff that's and right. bringing that together yeah that's just like oh it's such a great marriage yeah. it really yeah. truly is and it's so different because when we were going to school yeah it was the jocks were over here yeah and the artsy fartsy guys were over here yeah and neither to the should those two mix that's right but this is what we're doing like yeah. it's so cool to see the kids that i get to work with who some of them would never play hockey would never play basketball but man do they ever love to produce yeah, you know what i mean and cool. do the camera and get all that stuff going it's yeah. so cool to see that come together and our tap just watched. That means we're out of time. But as you know, before we cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. Okay. So uh, Fort McMurray <coughs> Oil Barons, check them out. Fort McMurray Oil .ca. Please do great production, great crew of kids that I work with there. Uh, Keanu Huskies, please check them out as well uh, because we're going to be producing all of their games. And if everything goes right, replays on their big screen. So we're hoping to make that happen. Uh, Fort McMurray Giants, just because it's wintertime, don't uh, get uh, get lost with the Fort McMurray Giants. They're going to be running some kids camps this year and stuff like that, so get watching for that. Andrew Swaggers and that crew is rocking. Um, and then again, watch out for wrestling that is supposed to be coming back in January, um, and we're hoping to make it bigger, badder, and better than uh, last time we were there. Uh, and as always, uh, I'm going to say a big thank you to Mr. Elliot for having me on the show, Tanner as well, uh, what you guys are doing in the community when when you saw the need for this kind of thing to have happen uh, because it wasn't happening anymore. Um, thank you so much for making it happen. There we go. Awesome. Well, Fort McMurray would Buffalo the rest of the world. That's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in. It does mean the world to me. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Neural Toyota, as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose. We do appreciate your ongoing support. Hope everybody at home is having a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.